Greetings, Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I am your host, Vagus Sonari, here with the new LP on Brigandine, The Legend of Renercia. It is awesome to be back. Thank you guys so much for your patience on these last few months with the internet being ridiculous and stupid and uh, interrupting my uploads and being stupid on my streams and stuff like that. I haven't been able to make content for you guys for the quite some time and I do apologize about that however it was definitely out of my hands as you know but we are back in business I'm ready to get started on the LP that you guys have voted for uh, for my next LP so this is gonna be the United Islands of Morelva playthrough I'm very excited to get some piracy going on here we're gonna loot the booty so let's do that today shall we it's gonna be back guys hopefully everybody is doing well hopefully you are ready to rock with me this morning if you are a notification squad thank you so much for joining me and also those who are to come. So, let's go ahead and read up on the synopsis at the beginning here. Ruler is Stella Hammett. She is a descendant of the legendary pirate Captain Hammett. The war has stirred up the wild pirate blood of the people of Morelva. And Stella decides to set off to conquer the Renercia, to conquer Renercia with the Brigandina Vigo. Decisive and spontaneous, she decides it would be best to strike anyone else as a chance. I don't understand this dialogue. Her actions are straightforward and direct. That was a mess. Ugh. Maybe some pirates wrote that, who knows. <laughs> and of course, we are doing hard mode. Let's get it, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. It has been a total of, I think, two months since I actually have played Brigandine. Um, I haven't even booted it up, so I needed a break from it, of course, as I said before this whole you know debacle started. So uh, it was a nice break, but I'm ready to get back into it. So it feels like new, you know what I mean? So we'll see if I still remember how to do this. <laughs> So, how's your guys' playthroughs going? How's challenge mode going for you guys? Let me know in the comments below for sure. So. United Islands of Morelva is a federation of seven small islands. Once every three years, people all across the archipelago celebrate Min Solunga. Min Solunga. Yeah. Tonight was the eve of the big event, so everyone was enjoying themselves. The island's chairman position is rotated between the leaders of the seven islands. And tomorrow, the symbol of the islands, the Brigandine of Ego, would be making its way to a new leader. Fifty-five <clears throat> Kronel? That's what they call the currency? Interesting. A young scholarly lad was eyeing an antique octopus pot in the flea market. <laughs> She's drunk already, yo. <laughs> yep, this is what we're getting into. Wow. Mm. That's our ship. That should be ours. Give it back. Mm. Yep. Oh man, I'm gonna love this playthrough for real. The cutscenes are gonna be great. どうしてそんなこと <laughs> 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 Joe the man-eating shark? What? I love all the sea puns, yo. Damn. 
As Stella yelled her insult, she began to beat the shop owner in the face with the octopus pot. <laughs> A brawl ensued, but it was over just as quick as it had begun, with the former pirate on the floor at Stella's feet. Former pirate. Oh man. Oh man. The dialogue is already popping off at the beginning. Of course. We're pirates. We're free. There you go. Irish drink of choice. Absolutely. It was no surprise that Stella had been forced to work a long day. Pirates had nearly stolen the brigandine of Ego that was being brought over from a neighboring island for Minsolunga. I don't know how to properly pronounce that, but I'm sure I'll learn. あの船にはジガのブリガンダインが乗ってるんだよ。船を沈めちゃったらどうするの？その時は潜って探してくりゃいいだろ。さっさとお見舞いしろ。You just throw Captain Guinea into the water. He'll go fetch it, I'm sure. So, <laughs> watching her reckless plan in action, it was hard to tell which ship was actually the pirate ship. But that was how Captain Stella, commander of the Federation Defense Corps, operated. Federation Defense Corps? Someone just happened to be Stella Hammett, descendant of the legendary Captain Hammett. Wait, isn't... isn't Guinea her father? I don't know, I forget. Yeah, him. On the left. Always a good time in the pirate's household, man. Yeah, that, that's her father, Guinea. もっと詳しく話してちょうだいよ。ね。なはは、亡くなった母さんに似て相変わらずせっかちじゃのお前は。だがまあ、捨てらの言う通りじゃ。わしもな、常々感じておったんじゃが、わしら海賊の末裔は
もともと仲の悪い連中がここに来てドンパチ追っ始めたっていうじゃねえか今日でああでもってその勢いで大陸制覇に乗り出したってんだからわしら海賊もびっくりしたねパパこのままじゃいずれ奴らはこの見れればにそりゃそうよなこの見れる場所とは自我のブリガンダインはもちろん大陸にはね資産がワンサとある一度海賊の味を占めた連中が見逃すはずはねえさ奪われる前に奪ってやるキャプテンハーメットの血を舐めてもらっちゃ困るぜっての Hell yeah cheers ああわしも賛成じゃそれにしてもステラーミレルバの騎士団長っていうよりはますます海賊の女っつう風格じゃなマンタのおじきそいつはこの裏若き乙女が下品になっちまったって言いたいのかいうんうんふんうんふんおっとこえぐい時が時ならミレルバ一の女海賊を怒らしちまったかな<laughs> right. <laughs> We all know what you're like. It's pretty funny that, like, she,、um, as the leader, is like the most,、uh, the, like, the biggest drunkard, at least so far. You know, all these are, all these guys are drunkards, except for Pluto, I would say. But, like, Stella probably takes after her father or something like that, where she's just all about the alcohol, which is. Definitely fitting. Eh, so nani canta ni kimicha te in this car? Nani tender up. Kaizoka, Mukashkara, so good and so kids. So Janito Aranamini no marichima tender. So you could say, Kono Luna de Azendo say her she Mojidori Kaizoka no oja to Narunja. そんじゃあケーキ漬けに久しぶりにあれをやるかあれを The thing? What thing? おおさミレルバルーバーミレルバドゥーオーケーホントパパたちってこれやんの好きだよね I don't know what that means <laughs> し聞こえるってばよーしそんじゃキャプテンはステラだえっあたいが<笑> you, ?You're the one that drinks the most のチビの頃で知らん。You have to be the leader。このマーメイドギニーはな、船のキャプテンなんて似合う男じゃねえ。Really now? 好きに泳がす方がかえって役に立つ男なのよ。Huh. ああ、寝室鬼没あっちこっちの港の女たちも今度はいつ現れるんだろうってやきもきしたらしいぜ。Of course, because he's the most fun, right? と、娘の前で何やる ?Cool. And thus the United Islands of Morella set out to conquer the continent of Renersia with Stella Hammond as its leader. For no more than their egos. Which is the Brigandine, obviously, so this will be fun. We've got a lot of potential thumbnails here. That's going to be a candidate for sure. But there's other ones too, so we'll see. Finish、um, hours, dispatch the unlock quest. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So we have、uh, the secret areas unlocked、um, on the map because we cleared it once. Um, we saw that in the Shinobi Tribe playthrough. Anyway, let's unpack this, shall we? I'm ready. So, I'm not going to spend too much time on organization on、uh, recording, obviously. Just、uh, tell you guys what my plans are as far as building teams and stuff like that, and then, you know, go. So, we need three teams. So, we need one here, one here, and one in the west. So, this one right here is going to take Grow Worn and be defensive for the majority of my conquering in the right side. So, the idea. At least for me, 
is to try to go up here and do Gustava and take out Gustava probably first, because it's very difficult at the beginning to take out either Gaimul or Mana Silesia. So, but as soon as I take out Gustava, you know, either one can go after that. And it'll probably be Mana Silesia after Gustava's done, so. If I can take out Rudo very quickly, I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. So up into here, Gustava first, Mana Silesia. Then probably Gaimul along with Shinobi Tribe, and then Nozalia will be last, maybe. So we'll see how things go, though. Uh, anyway, about the teams, uh, let's see. So this is where our main forces uh, set out. I'm not going to do any rearranging. I just want to look at the leaders in the rune power right now, or the magic pool. So, uh... We have a perfect Sea Serpent right here, very nice. I know Adieu is a boss in this game. He's really, really good. Guinea has the most attack power, but his agility is so bad. So what we're going to have to do, or what my plan is, is to get him to where he's always using his um, rotation ability. So he's going to be on his own for the most part. But when I when I uh, pop off the formation in battle, you'll see what my plans are. Because um, he's not going to be alone per se, but he will be... Uh, alone within that area, so where he can't hit my allies with that big attack that he has. Um, so the mana pools, I'm thinking I'm going to take Stella on a team, and then Adieu will uh, lead her another team as well. So Stella leads the team, Adieu leads the team. Um, Guinea will probably go with Stella. Let's see. Umi's right here, he's probably going to lead a third team maybe. Um, I need to check the other leaders on the other castles, but I think the biggest magic pool characters are here. I'll check though regardless, but um, I think that Stella, Guinea, and maybe Pluto are going to be my main force. Like team one. Team two is Adieu, um, Tommy, and probably Umi. I might just take Umi with, uh, with Adieu. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Um, and then the uh, other teams are going to be something that I can put together. So let me check out the mana pools on the others. So that seems like a good balance so far. Uh, let's see. In here we have a 198 and a 200. So, ah, Florenzo, the educator. <laughs> oh man, this guy's pretty cool. Uh, he has decent stats at level 12. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, MP could be a little bit higher, but he is a bishop, so... We'll definitely turn him into a mage when he gets 15. Um, that way he can keep Divine Ray. Not Divine Ray, Holy Word. We have Robilio. He can be good. He's got some crazy HP at 7, actually. He's going to be nice. Uh, decent strength at the level. Yeah, this is, is kind of typical. Um, but yeah, we'll get him up to 10 maybe through training grounds and then set him off uh, to a team. Okay, so 188 to 200. Let's see. 180, 198. Uh, let's see. The Sherrod. Uh, some decent agility there. Some good strength. I mean, no, no. Th these stats are great at level 8. Holy crap. These are really high. This guy's gonna be awesome. Alright, you're my thief for sure. Uh, Lucia. Agility 70, strength 68. Still good for level 10. Definitely less potential uh, than uh, Sherrod is, but she will definitely be used. Um, okay. Alright, I'm starting to put it together. Once I uh, review all the leaders, I'll let people know what... I'll showcase what my teams are going to be later. Um, we definitely need to quest Sophie, for sure, on training grounds. Galavard right here. I don't think we lose him to uh, if we come in contact with Will or um, or Farrick. If we do, please let me know. I would like to know that, because if there's a chance that happens, I do not want to send him into battle against them, but I don't think it does happen. But let me know for sure in the comments. Um, his stats are amazing at this level. Really, really good. He will be used for sure. He could almost lead his own team, actually. Once he gets up to level 20, he'd be a leader for a team for sure. Okay. So, we've already got a third team. Easy. Maybe even four teams. 180, whoops. 185. And then also 168 on Vigo. Vigo and Radka. Uh, these are probably going to be quest nights for a bit. I'll definitely do them, uh, with, get them on training grounds first. And do what cross-classing I can. Um, but uh, if they start like at a level where they only need two more or three more to get up to uh, the next class up. I'm just going to do that and not even bother with crossing until they're level 10. Um, but decent magic pool at these levels. We can make them great. 
So, yeah, they're pretty decent. Let's see. And I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let's get started. I'm going to put my teams together real quick. I'll showcase what I'm going to be doing for that. And then we'll get into, hopefully, at least one battle today. Maybe even two, depending on the time. But, uh, yeah, we had a long intro there. So, all right. It's great to be back, guys. So, give me a second. I'll be right back with you with some teams. Okay, we're in the attack phase right now. We're not going to be, of course, attacking this round, but I do want to show the uh, teams really quick. This is one team here with being led by Adieu and Umi. So, and we also have Tommy here as well. Holy Lizards, Batman. There's a ton of that stuff there. Um, we have Stella's team right here, I believe. Yes, we do. Very good. And we have some people questing. There is uh, a couple of knights that were here that are going to be coming back for the team. So Galavard, um, Robilio, I think his name was, and I forget the other person that was here, but, uh, they'll be back. They'll be back. And, uh, hopefully this castle doesn't attack me. Uh, let's find out, actually, so. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> okay. They'll be back. They'll be back. Don't worry. Okay, here's the report here. Umi has prepared a report? I thought it would be, it would be uh, Pluto. ガラクタの寄せ集めだと思ったら随分役立つことするんだなこいつこいつではなく私は海丸ガラクタも不適切言語ですうんうん私を構成する機械部品がバラバラに存在したのであって寄せ集めではなく手この元のバラバラにして海に叩き込むぞ海丸人を見分けるのを学習しなさいって言っただろ論理的な説明が嫌いな人間は結構多いんだ<笑><笑> Here we go とりあえず了解北西の島国ノーザリオ王国ルビーの賛成王が原因不明の死去を王子のルビーの四世が王座を引き継ぎ元い引き継ぎ正義のブリガンダインを所持何事も正義であることが国税。Is that yeah, makes sense. He works for the black market? Does it? It's part of Brigandine. <laughs> A former pirate? ちげえね。ルビーの4世だと。さぞかしお生まれが良さそうな顔してんだろうね。正解。ルビーの <laughs> Bot's getting testy. <laughs> Shinobi. カッコクはその優れた情報及び戦闘能力を重視し。ああ、忍び族のことなら、値も聞いたことがあるよ。結構前に女たちが男を追い出して、何でも忍び森林城とかいうものを建てて独立したって言うじゃないか。デラというのが
今こそ自由のブリガンダインで大陸を征服してやるってねはあ自由となわしらなんぞは生まれた時から今日まで自由気ままな海賊暮らしじゃからのそういう窮屈な感情はどうもわからんの訂正海賊が自由というのは適正な表現ではありません海賊は他人の自由を犯し自己の都合のいい解釈で傍若無人な振る舞いをしている次<笑> This robot's insulting as hell, man. Hilarious. I love Umi, man. He's great. Definitely got some personality, so. My man, Tim. I still love Gustavo the best. Gustavo, to be honest, was a Gustavo I 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 was a Gustavo 今のような国らしい組織に発展したんだけどピププ勝て火に負けるとは火は熱と光を出す現象現象が負けるは言語不明瞭ビッモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモモぼっと燃え上がる黒い液体のことよ。なんでもゾワールの灯火とかいう風に呼ばれていてな。いい金になるらしいぜ。ふう、続けろ。うん。まあとにかくノーザリオやマナサリージアのような伝統国とはだいぶ雰囲気が違う国のようだね。というと。続きは海丸にお任せよグスタフ一族の力が絶大なため国の内部構造が視界不良もといよく見えないのですなあああ慣れない熟語を使おうとしたため的確な表現ではありませんでした反省 He can laugh? This dude has emotion Yeah, that's my thoughts exactly. なんせ金には困らねえゴミ分だ学術院も金欲しさにほんのちびっとばかし面倒見ていたらしいやさすが裏事情に詳しいの蛇の道は蛇金の匂いのする話は金の好きなマフィアに聞けうるせえポンコツ先を続けろい<笑> Rust bucket no insults No insult, you mean? So, the Mana Sarija Hoko are doing and Jay. Tokubetsku Zaiwa Zaiha Daka de Naku, Mohanaha no Rune no Kishini Totem Sejija. Romano Fufo was a Kaizukuni were head on a devil for the Koketna was Santo Kikukarana. Sasagani got a gota Storanjaro. Tokoroga does me. Kokono Tokoro, Nazeka, Romano Fufo Wonga, Omotani detected in Ain Desu. 代わりに息子でルーン警察師団長のルドが規制を上げてましてね他の国と同様に兵を挙げたみたいですそのルドという男が父親とは違ってかなり危険な人物だという噂も面白いじゃんどんなに危険か見せてもらいたいね<笑>危険な男に興味を持つ女ほど脆い。次<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>
続きまして外ムール共和国はムー今でも姉妹の持っていた秘剣エンジェの剣が伝わっておりです Excuse me? 何語じゃそれは海丸はもともとどこで作られたのかまだ時々おかしな言語が混じるんですひょっとして違う大陸の言語なのかな失礼なるべくあなたたちの知的レベルに適合しますそれでそのエンジェの剣っていうのはアーデン・ウザーラ大統領の娘エルザが引き継いだとの情報ありただしエルザがエンジェの剣をすぐに使いこなせるかどうかはそれほどすごい剣だってわけかい売れば結構な金になりそうだな Yeah, we should totally steal it. I wonder if you can. Can you loot that sword? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, same. <laughs> Some good conversation, man. Alright, you lot, let's go. Indeed, I'm ready to fight. It's been too long. We used to spend quite a bit of time in the intros and without fighting, but this is the introduction、uh, stage, so、uh, it's typical. Alright, we will check levels, levels here later. And、uh, the third team that I put together is going to be these three right here. So we have Lorenzo, Robilio, and Galavard. So that should fetch a nice team right there as well. I do need to summon some more monsters. And I do have two castles that have healers. The healers are residing right here. Unicorns are at Belutza. And also unicorns at Ilvani, I believe, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to have to pull some knights back after I like, drop off all the monsters and stuff. And、uh, rearrange my teams the way I want, and then start caravaning healers from place to place, you know. So, anyways, what I'm going to do is a little bit more organization here, and then、uh, we should be able to get some attacks off. I'm definitely going to attack with Stella's team, and hopefully, all three teams can attack actually. We may be setting up three attacks at the very start. I would like to do that. Anyways, let me run the numbers here really quick, and I will get right back with you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, the teams are set. Let's start setting up the attacks real quick. So, we are going to take Galavard's team and go this way. This is against, looks like Kyle's here. Oh man.、Uh, they got more power than I do. I have not checked their teams yet, so let's see. They've got some potential here. This will be a decent fight right here, but we'll see if we can come out on top. But、uh, yeah, that's going to be a tough one to take over. Probably the hardest one, I would say. When it comes to this one, I want to attack the highest combat power if I can. So I'm going for this one because it's less likely I'm attacked from here than it is here. So the idea is to get up here, take this without being attacked from here, and then take this right away afterwards. Because, yes, I do have to defend from this angle, but they don't have any、uh, people here. There's no reason for them to, to put people there. So we're going to get up in here, next turn, get up in here. And then have a nice choke point, sort of, right there. Alright, so Stella's team, we're good to go up into Zagust. We are fighting against Ginger. Let's see, let me see the、uh, troops. It's a lot, but they're weak. Yeah, there's a lot of weak units here. That should be an easy one. So, hopefully, the leaders will come out and、uh, decide to play. But they are casters. They'll probably stay in the back if they're smart. So,、uh, we'll be fighting a lot of monsters in that one, I'm, I'm assuming. But that'll be some nice experience there. I've got two leaders、um, caravaning some unicorns currently. One from Ivani and one from Belutza. Doesn't really matter, obviously. But、um, just to streamline it a little bit,、uh, this is the eastern support for healers. This is the western support for healers over here as well.、Uh, let's see. Only two teams really need healers.、Um, Adu has a healer, but it's,、uh, it's just one healer. So <laughs> I want to bolster that a lot more. So 13k to 12k, it's pretty much the same. That's against Kane. These first battles are always the toughest.、Um, so, yeah, that'll definitely be a fight. And we've got three set up, I believe. Go ahead and save. And then we are off to the races. 
I'm excited, man. Let's get it going. Hopefully I can put two battles in here today. I will check my time after my first one, but we're definitely putting at least one in here uh, today. And then every time after that will definitely be two, maybe even three per episode. So I try to cut it into pieces as much as I can for you guys so we can, uh, you know, save some time and watch all these awesome battles. So this one is going to be the easiest one, I think. So hopefully it will go quickly and we can get into a second one today. So, all right, man. I haven't done a Brigandine battle in quite some time, yo. Let's see if we still got it. So. Been a couple months. Alright, so Guinea is here. The idea um, that I have for Guinea and to make him uh, like more plausible as a knight is to keep the spaces around him empty. But anyway. Hell no, he's powerful as hell. Right. じゃあ、パパに何かあったらどうするのさ。キャプテンなら誰でも乗れるけど、評議会の代表は誰でも乗れるわけじゃないんだよ。おい、ステラ。自分を会話聞く道具みたいな言い方すんじゃねえ。Please don't get emotional on the battlefield. Wow. I mean, if it helps, if you fight better drunk, then by all means, drink away. Well, that was fun. All right, you know the drill. We need to march, and we will cut the footage until the battle starts. I will see you when it begins. Stay tuned. Let's do this. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, man. We got some tier twos to deal with here. That's okay, though. Shouldn't be too bad. If you look and see what I'm doing with Guinea, the area that's around him is completely open. That way I can make full use of his whirlwind attack because it's a 100% chance to hit. Since his accuracy is so bad, I'm going to take full advantage of that swing. I think it's called wild swing or something, but... Yo, that's pretty bad though. <laughs> Luckily, um, Stella has spell break, so I can use that to my advantage. Now we got to be careful here because we are lacking healing, but uh, we're going to try to... DPS this down as much as possible. We're gonna lose some monsters for sure. Just gotta look out for our leaders. Hi, so. hi. It doesn't seem as if we'll be able to uh, damage any too much, except with magic, that'll be a problem. But uh, we still got um, Pluto in the back there. He's a priest right now, so he's got uh, heals. I'll definitely master that once he reaches 20. All right, that poison has got to go. That is really bad. However, I can do this. It is Raging Hurricane. Even with power down, that is stupid damage right there. That almost... Look at it. It, it happened at the first episode, guys. It happened at the first episode. Oh, man. The curse hasn't left me. I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry to say it. 1 HP again. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I can't cure up that status effect with his team. However, I do have a cross breeze here. I'm going to start with this because I want to get him levels the, uh, as much as possible. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a kill on the elemental here. That's a beautiful breath attack, yo. Absolutely gorgeous. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, we're going to do your thing. Raging Hurricane. Here we go. Zero. Hell yes. Hell yes. This is a nice strategy. I like this, man. I like this a lot. Uh, can we put you in line for silence potential? We can. Um, go right here. Perfect. Um, can kill this thing with somebody. I guess we can do it with the bird. I don't want the bird to get counterattacked. Because it is the front line. And it is level 8, so... Get that dead. With your 1 HP, get out of here with that BS. Level 
nine. Very good. Um, I want to keep these spots open, so I'm going to leave that alone. And just, you know, hit up the left side and right flanks. Um, I don't mind breathing through my lizard man. So we're going to hit this guy up. This is going to be a very aggressive LP. I can guarantee it, man. A lot less defensive on this one for sure. So, in fact, it's going to be the exact opposite <laughs> of what Talia's playthrough was was like. So, okay, we got to cure up this status. Uh, can we get that? Spell break is three away. Oh no, I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. Man, really, that sucks. Okay. Well, we'll do something else. Uh, let's see. I think... Wait, do I want to come around the back and do some stuff over here? We're still in the river. We're not really in danger of getting uh, Stella damage too much if we're back here. Um, plus, if the Hydra's here, we can breath down this way. You have a couple of Thunders um, in your roster, but you'll probably do uh, Lullaby as well. Mm. We do have a charm available. Charm is how much away? Four? No, it's it's the skill. It's a... Uh, what's it called? Lure song, right. Four away. We can lure... Mm. Nothing great. Yeah, it might be best to reposition, to be honest. So, let's do... Um, do it like this. Do breath first. From here. Prism shot. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. I'm going to reposition Stella right here. Keep her in the water. She can do this after moving. Yo. Uh, 30. What is this? Deals moderate damage to a single adjacent enemy unit. 30% chance of inflicting faint. Um. Yeah, why not, right? She has a lot of MP. You can use this almost every single round until the battle's, do the battle's over, so... Uh, yeah, go. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. And can't she use, like, a special skill when she's in the water? Let's see. I'm thinking I want to move you, but not until after I move the Hydra. Sea Serpent. <laughs> um... She can afford to fight. I mean, really, she's just going to get hit up by maybe a magic spell or two. She can't get taken down by physical attacks. There's no way it's going to happen. Um, do I keep you in the water and not do a hit, or do I do a hit anyways? Probably do a hit anyways, I would say. Um, yeah, I like this better. And the mermaid can reposition, get the kill right there. She is next to uh, an elemental, but eh, that's whatever. Not a big deal there. That should get it done. Bam. No heals for you. Goodbye. Uh, let's see. Paralysis, or do we get up in here? Let's see. I can't get you around this way. So we're going to have to do range paralysis and then get you up in the front. Okay, I got you. Well, no, this is where the raging hurricane monster is going to be uh, popping off back and forth. So, uh... Let's see. Regardless, paralyzed wave anyway. Nice. I think I want to bolster the back line, maybe. Do I want to be here and do a hit? Pluto's next. Your troop C. Hmm. What is this? 79. Assuming you don't block. Down to 62. Uh, sure. That's fine. Very good. Okay, we gotta cure him up. Um, we'll probably do another curse, which is fine. Um, let's see. Matter of fact, I'm regretting putting that lizard over there. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I need to keep that open at all times. Okay. 
You're gonna still hit up the bird. You come around this way. Bam. Okay, where can you safely get a hit? Uh... What do you have, 39? Can I kill over here, even though I'm out of the rune area? Let's see. Let's see. Prism shot. We got it. 80? Yeah, totally. Sweet! Okay, cures. Uh, you have everything under the sun on your freaking status right now, so... It won't cure the, uh, the attack down, unfortunately, but it will cure the poison. Or do I do a heal somewhere? Yeah, cure. Silence I know doesn't matter, but, yeah. Poison definitely matters. 100%, 74%, ugh. Uh, go here. Nice miss, fantastic. There's a Geno Frost. Yep. That's gonna be the biggest problem here. Everything else is not that substantial, but they've got a lot of magic power between all three leaders. I'm wondering if he'll do a Holy Word instead of do a heal. Probably so. He's got two unicorns on his on his troop. Nice miss there. Brett coming through 27, holla. <laughs> oh, yep. I knew she would go for it. In fact, that's what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. I want that curse on me. I may actually try to go for a pincer attack with Guinea and not do the Raging Hurricane anymore. But it depends on if, if they kill this lizard, lizard or not. Can they do it? Holy word? Yeah! Oof! Oof! Yeah, they got him. That's fine. Yikes. Big yikes. We're okay. We're okay. I knew we were going to lose some stuff in the first battles anyways. It's going to happen. But we'll get there. We will get there. Alright, Guinea's up. Now, unfortunately, he's not in a good spot to use the Hurricane. Um, I know I'll get a definite hit here, but it's just going to hit one person. So, it costs MP. I forgot about this. Never mind. We're not going to do that anyway. We'll have to do Disaster Strike. Uh, for a guaranteed hit. So. And it's not that much less powerful, really. If I'm looking at it here. So, uh, yeah. We may do it anyways. <laughs> Just because. Um, we could potentially get him dead pretty soon. We are going in a row, so I do have some elementals. But he is blocked off pretty well. So, we're definitely doing a breath. Not that way. Okay, that'll work. If I can get him gone, I diminish all the heals except for one. Getting rid of those is pivotal, so... Silence over here. Or what? Um... Zero percent chance, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh... In case I can't kill him, I guess I'll just summon some of the unicorns. Um, let's get that one. Eh. What ifs? What ifs? Uh, 296. I can't get him up there. I can get the bird up there, though. You're level 9. Ugh, I would like to keep you. <laughs> I would definitely like to keep you. Um. The pincer him and get a big hit right here, but... Eh. You know what I can do next turn? I can charm Ginger. But she has a freaking cure right here. I wonder if I can focus this unicorn down, kill it. Or maybe instigate a heal and not a cure on Ginger. If I can keep Ginger 
Charmed. That is... That's the game right there. That's the match. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I think we're going to commit to the disaster swing here. So, yeah, let's go. Very nice. Um... Do I try to get this? What is it? Yeah, he's fast, so... That probably won't connect. And you're level 9. I would like to save this thing. If I can. You're level 6. Yeah, let's bring it back and save it. You take the place. Perfect. 84%. You get 70? Ah, I was hoping it would miss. That's fine. What is your skill that you have in the water? Is that her class up, maybe? Yeah, it must be her class up, right? Because magic is just whatever. Um, Got two charms here. What's her intelligence level? 85. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Let's definitely get a charm on uh, Ginger. Are you serious? Wait, what? Oh, they have to be in water. That's right. No, 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 they don't. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm on the snow field? I thought I was legit in the river. No way. Oh, I thought I was in the river. Hmm. Tactics have changed. <laughs> okay. Um. Well. New plan. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, let's see. Blue is not going to be any good against green. This is, uh... Different. Hang on. Let me see. Charm. 27%. I legit thought I was in the water. Hmm. I gotta get rid of some units just to prevent their healing abilities. Uh, you're out of MP, which is great. They've got two heals back here left. Uh, two more here. Mm. Where can the elementals get to? See, I can't really get any hits here. I'd have to go in for a bite, maybe. And then blast through my uh, sea serpent. Let me see. It's a hundred. The frost attack. I wish Stella had some type of ranged offensive spell. That would be incredible. Hang on. Hang on. Um, if I get rid of C troop, then that brings out brings down a lot. Although, we're close to getting kills here. That would be nice too. 94 and 104. Level 8. Can you get both of that? Can you really get both? Let me see. No, it's close. It's close, but not quite. Um, mm, sorry guys, I'm conflicted here a little bit. Uh, I definitely want to get kills with Stella, obviously, but... I wish she had uh, double movement as well. She doesn't have double movement, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. That would be ridiculous, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think she gets um, a special attack in the water um, with her class up. Get that breath through the sea serpent. Kill the dog. Get in there with another elemental or something else. I I should be able to get this. Let's go for it. I want to go for it. Bonk. Uh, let's see. Yeah, get in there with, get in there with Stella. Kill the dog. Bam. Very good. Pluto is next. Um, his troop is all the way over here. I can't get anybody in there. Cross spell and then a shot. That won't be enough. I can already tell right now it's not going to be enough. 90. Ugh. I don't think I have the ability to do this. 
Maybe this one can get it, but where do I put you? This golem's in the way. I can't get another shot, can I? Nope, I sure as hell can't. That sucks, man. I shouldn't have committed to that. That's okay. Maybe if I can kill this with uh, something. Uh, I don't think I can do 104. <laughs> Yeah, not even close. Man. Let me see. Let's go here. I'm just weighing my options right now, guys. Things have changed. 77, 82. Um. And the mermaid killed a lizard. With one frost spell. Yes. I can get in there for one more hit, so both of them can can attack. Maybe this one. Wait, what? Trappist one. I was reading the name of this monster. I legit. I glanced at it and I legit thought it said therapist, number one. Therapist. Would you like to have an elemental as your therapist? Uh, I mean, if you vibe, sure, but, uh, okay, anyway. 86. Yeah, let's get it. Man, I had some good tactics there, but I thought I was in the water. I was harping on that, um... That charm spell. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can get up here, but you're out of the rune area. I could move, but he has damaging spells. I want to be able to do that or heal. Let's see. Magnus. These. Level 5 here. I could set up a kill for this wyvern to kill this one, just by doing a flame attack, or get up in here with the serpent. Let me see. Can I set this up? 56%? God, That is... That is terrible. Where else can you go? <laughs> I mean, I know it's a flyer, but man, that's... really bad. Let's see about the lizard, though. What we got here? Um, 66. Still terrible. And not enough for a Wyvern kill. Too many options, man. Too many options. It's not worth it chasing after this kill right here. But I'm not going to be able to do it. There's, well, I don't even know why I'm still trying. Uh. Yeah, let's, um, let's get some kills here. Flame. If we can kill the wyvern, we may be able to get up in there with the uh, sea serpent for this space, but I doubt it. As they, he is being blocked pretty heavily, but we'll see if I can get there. 91. I'm going to say, please hit him. Please, please hit him. Very nice. Can't get a shot on the healer. Get up in there? Not quite. You can, though. But still, the, uh... This dude is stupid agile. For a bishop. 100% there. 100% here. Can we tag team the wolf? Probably. Yep. I don't know where to put you, little elemental. I'm running thin on my options here. 75. I don't want to, you know, make these too weak because they are high level. I would like to keep something here. Uh, let's maybe go from this angle. I don't care about the goblin.
88. First battle, I'm super focused here. <laughs> I mean, you should be super focused anyways, right? That is the idea. I can't set up a breath line too bad, right? Well, I mean, I guess here, but... It still has freaking a lot of MP, yo. Crazy. 89%. Nice. Nice. We're gonna lose a lot of stuff right here. This Geno Frost coming through. Oof. Nice miss. Ugh. Yeah, we lost two. No. Fine. We're gonna lose stuff anyway in the first battle. That Geno Frost is just really tough to deal with. That's fine. I don't care about that. That, however, is annoying. Didn't kill him? Oh, no way. <laughs> uh, that's funny. It's gonna be risky business for a while. Just just letting you know. Just letting you know. Until we st can start caravaning healers back and forth, it's gonna be a little dicey in the beginning. So. Alright, Mr. Guinea. Uh, what can we do, bro? Grad of MP, it's whatever. Um, I wish I could guarantee a hit here. Wait, can I get Pincer here? Not on her. No, I can't. It's 62, though. It's not terrible for him. However, can you get up in there? Really? Really? It's going, man. It's going, pulling some tactics on me. Uh, let's see. I may take that chance to try to kill her. That might be the best option. So I got a frost left. They're out of MP, so they're definitely going to be leaving. So. Let's try to focus some kills instead. I, I'm definitely going to try to kill Eon if I can. But, uh... Best option is here. Maybe kill the wolf. Yep. Nice, 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 nice. We're gonna have a lot of serpents in this army. <laughs> we started with six serpents at the uh, at the capital, yo. Crazy. All right, I think I'm gonna take the chance and try to kill her right here. <laughs> nice, nice. He got it. He got it. All right. Okay. Capturing some monsters would have been nice right there, because I lost a lot. But you get the hell out of dodge. Uh, we will hit you, because you don't do a lot of damage. Oh, come on. 86. That's fine. The, the miss is not that important on that one in particular. Um, Ginger. Oh, uh, we've got Pluto left as well. Where is he? Oh, he's back here. Um, I would like to take down healers as much as possible, so I think I'm going to focus that. Get over here. Um, yes, absolutely. Get rid of the healers. Man, it's so... I wish I would have paid attention to this tile. It so looks like she's in the freaking river. I know it tells me what tile it is, but I was just looking too quickly. I could have prevented a lot of those kills. Uh, let's see. Wait. Can you kill with a frost? Wow, so close. Aw, oh, man. Yep, get the kill here. Yep. 
Need to give my girl Stella some kills. No skill. Frost will just hit the golem, I guess. Yep. Okay. Do we have charges left here? Um, how much is it? It's 40. You're out. You are out. Let's go ahead and kill the imp, I guess. <laughs> I can't really get up in here and kill any more healers. But, uh, yeah. I guess the imp it is. So, think bite. 84%. What's breath? Breath. Yeah. Nice. Can we flame it to death? Oh, yeah. Barely. Barely, barely. 30 minutes in this battle. Yeah, this is... I'm not going to be able to put a second one in here. I can already tell you guys that right now. Because <laughs> we had a really long intro. But, that's okay. That's okay. Every episode after this one will definitely have at least two battles or more. Like normal, so... Okay, it's time for you to retreat. You have no MP left. Unless you stay around for a frost attack. You could. Nope, she gone. Made the right choice. Alright, good battle. They definitely hurt me a lot in that one. But, we still came out on top, so. Again, as I said before... In the beginning of Brigandine, it's, it goes back to the classic Brigandine anyways back in uh, 1990. 1999, sorry. Didn't finish that sentence. Where uh, the beginning battles are just going to be that much more difficult. But we start spiraling out of control at some point, right? Shinobi try playthrough, man. That spiraled out of control very quickly. We hit the bar and celebrate. Hell yeah. Cheers, Stella, my girl. Cheers. Good stuff. What's that? All right. We came out on top. We still have some creatures left, some high-level creatures, and uh, I think I still saved my uh, my rock bird. I'm not sure if it leveled up though to uh, ten. If it did, I'm definitely getting a phoenix so I get more healing potential on this uh, on this team. Uh, that way, I won't have to caravan unicorns to them like uh, so often. I'll give them like a couple and uh, keep the phoenix in there for sure, but yeah, we'll see what happens. They killed a bunch, but it's not that bad. It really isn't, so mostly fodder, but we got a ton of their stuff, man. Look at that. That is nuts. Good stuff. Okay, next invasion is Adieu's team. We're going to deploy, and then we will destroy next episode. <laughs> so... The uh, teams are pretty even, so this one's going to be a tough one as well. But I like the strategy that I'm employing with Guinea, where we can use the uh, the, the radius attack over and over again. It seems to be uh, a legit strategy. However, it can be sort of situational if they don't really come in to attack him on all sides. Uh, even if he has just one unit in front of him, if it's low accuracy to hit that unit in particular. Hold up. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're good then we can just use 100% accuracy with the, you know, radial attack anyway. I'm going to, I'm going to botch the names on those things, uh, for a while. Raging Hurricane is the big attack. I already forget what the second one is. Disaster Strike? Is that what it is? Oh, he's talking to Umi. No, sir. <laughs> he got offended. Mm. Not so sure, my dude. We got emotions over here with Umi. He kind of resembles Pluto with his uh, facial expression right there in particular, but uh, yeah, he's he's got some uh, he's got some rage issues and, and you can definitely tell. But uh, pretty cool though. I can destroy you. That's what I can do. 
ピポポイン敵の偵察行為を確認敵に手の内明かすべからず<笑> Indeed Wow he's smart too Okay ほう言葉までも理解するかこいつはぜひとも手に入れてやる Wow Your collection You have a collection of robots? Am I reading that right? <laughs> okay. Anyways, we're going to call it there, ladies and gents. Thank you ever so much for joining me for my first episode on the United Odds of Morelva playthrough. And thank you for welcoming me back with open arms. Hopefully, you guys uh, didn't have too much of a problem with the whole absence thing because it was a long time, I know. But thank you so much again for understanding during that time. We will be、uh, pumping out. Episodes regularly per,、uh, throughout the week. I don't think I'm going to be able to do daily episodes, unfortunately. However, there will be multiple episodes per week, at least two or three. Maybe even more than that, depends on what kind of time I get, because I am getting a lot more busy nowadays with streaming coming back into play and work's getting a lot more busy. I won't go into the whole spiel. But, you know, all schedule aside, I will try to get as much content out for you guys as much as possible. And I also have Star Renegades to look out for as well. So, if you guys did enjoy the episode, please leave it a like and also subscribe. If this is your first time here, you want to see more videos like this, including guide videos and Let's Play series on Brigandine and also a multitude of other games. If you have not checked out my Star Renegades playthrough I just released recently, you can find that in the top right hand corner of this video. Check that out. Let me know your thoughts, and I will see you in the next episode. I am your host, Vagosunari. See you on the battlefield, Rune Knights. Peace. Bye.